one, it's Chelsea. Um, I should be packing for Thanksgiving. I should be cleaning my house, um, but I'm taking a little break to do some videos. I just did a tutorial of how I do my sock bone, and um, really quick, I was going to do my favorites for the month of November. Skincare. I uh, ordered from Lush Cosmetics um, the Dark Angels Facial Cleanser. comes in a pot like this. If you're not familiar with Lush, everything is 100% natural. They um, normally use organic stuff. And, um, like, everything's so natural, it has an expiration date. And it actually shows you who made your product, which is pretty cool. So, Kelsey made my product on October 2nd. I need to use it by January uh, 2nd of 14. Exfoliate in charcoal and black sugar, scrub to absorb excess oils, and brighten your complexion. I am definitely acne prone, as well as combination skin. And um, this stuff is so cool. It is totally black if you can see it is like a I don't know it smells like what I would think coal smells like it's kind of weird um you get like I wish I could do it right now but I don't want to waste it I just dip my finger in um it is like a like a compact kind of like brown sugar that's what it feels like um when it's gotten hard and kind of compact and I do a little bit probably the size of like a nickel maybe a quarter um if I'm using it on my chest also and I use just the dab of water and um, do it into a paste. And it is black as can be. And you just use it all over your face. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do like an actual review and demonstration on it. But this stuff makes your skin so silky smooth. It brings all the gross stuff up from your pores to the top. Um, it will like bring up whiteheads and just little bumps. And I know it has stuff in it. Um, it like draws it out. And... It's just, it's absolutely, absolutely amazing. I think this is like $20 something dollars, um, but I think it is definitely worth it. My little sister has been using it and has fallen in love with it too. And she's actually gonna buy it or maybe I'll buy it for for Christmas. Who knows, Erin? But um, if you have oily skin or broken out skin and you just feel like your pores are blocked, this stuff is absolutely amazing. I um, also picked up this past month the Mario Badescu um, Special Healing Powder. It looks like this. It is a um, kind of like yellow tinted powder, and it says the sulfur-based powder will not only help control excess oils and reduce redness, but will also disinfect and heal blemishes, um, use sparingly. Again, this is great for oil control. I like to use, um, I don't have it with me, but just my e.l.f. Kabuki brush. And I'll actually put it on before my foundation, so I'll just dot it on and work it in all over. Put on my foundation, it minimizes the look of my pores. Um, it like fills them in. It does help my acne a little bit. I notice on the days I don't use it, my face kind of flares up more. Um, and I think this was like 12, oh, 12 dollars for a half an ounce. But you, when it says to use sparingly, it means like barely get any on your brush. Um, but this is great, great, great for very oily skin or even combination skin. So I definitely recommend this. Um, they sell Mario Badescu at Ulta. I got this at the cosmetics market in Nashville, Tennessee, um, but I'm sure any other um, kind of higher end would have it. Everything Batiste Dry Shampoo and a hint of color dark and deep brown. This is the big container of it. Absolutely love it. Use it on my hair today. Matches my hair. Sucks up the oil. Um, it does everything it should. It smells great. Um, I don't wear perfume that much, but I've been wearing my Chanel Chance every day. I don't know if I should have it this long, but I've had it since, um, oh, uh, sophomore year of high school. Um, an ex-boyfriend got it for me. I don't consider this scent. It doesn't remind me of him at all. It just reminds me of high school. It's a heavier scent. I normally like really light and fruity scents, but I love this, especially for winter. So, I'm trying to use it up this winter. Now to makeup, um, my Milani Brow Kit or Brow Fix Brow Kit in Medium. I've seen so many people on YouTube rave about this. It has a highlight and two brow colors as well as a couple little tools. I don't use the tools. The highlight is very pigmented, um, can be great for an all over lid color. The two brow colors are matte, are also great not only for the brows but like in your crease or as eyeliner. I just use this uh, brown or brow number two. It doesn't have any kind of red in it. It's what I do my eyebrows with. I have it done right now. I believe this is like six or seven bucks. It is freaking amazing. They have all different colors. Um, so I definitely recommend if you're looking for a less expensive um, brow kind of thing, do this or the e.l.f. brow kit. I still absolutely love that. 
Um, two blushes. I got the Revlon Matte Powder Blush in Perfectly Peach. It looks like this. I got it for $2 at Rite Aid. Um, this is their old, I think they have new blushes out. This is their old stuff. It is just a matte peach shade. It's very pigmented. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, something really quick just to throw on the cheeks uh, when I don't really want to think about, is my blush going to match? That kind of thing. So I'm kind of excited to try their new blushes whenever I find them. Another blush. I've only had this for uh, since last Friday, but I'm in love with it. And it's kind of dangerous because I'm in love with it. It is a Chanel um, powder blush in pink explosion. I have always stayed away from pink on my face. I always felt like it made my face muddy. Um, I guess muddy is not the word. It made it look like I had rosacea. So it wouldn't even be muddy. It made it look like I had rosacea. I hated it. And so when the woman was like, let me try this on you. I was like, uh, okay, whatever. She tried it on me. Holy crap. It just looked beautiful. Actually, I'm not wearing it today. But you know what? I'm going to put a little on. I like a lot of makeup. I like a lot of blush. I have no problem with looking like a drag queen. So I get a little bit, actually that's a lot, on my brush and put it right on the apples. And it just looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, it smells like roses or something. I don't even know. It was like $42. Uh, but I want every color now. But I mean, I just, I feel glamorous using this. It's beautiful. I think it is definitely worth it. It stays on all day long. Um, I haven't been, I'm kind of getting into blushes, which is kind of scary, but I think it's great. I'm very excited about that. Um, I have been mixing the L'Oreal True Match Lumi with the CoverGirl at last Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. This is a very matte foundation. This is great for oily skin people or combination skin people, but if you have any kind of dry flakes on your face, it is going to highlight them and make them look horrible. This is a very dewy foundation. I cannot use this alone. Um, using it alone, my face looks like an oil spill. However, mixing these together or even mixing this with any other kind of foundation just gives you the most gorgeous glow. I actually um, use this with Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation for my foundation as well as a bride's foundation I did a couple weeks ago. And, I mean, it just looked absolutely phenomenal. So, if you have dry skin, I definitely recommend checking out the um, Lumi if you have oily skin, check out the CoverGirl. Um, both you can get in your drugstores, Ulta, whatever. Or if you have kind of normal or combination skin that maybe it's a little bit drier one day, a bit oilier the other day, check these out and add these together, kind of mix it, try different kind of, you know, amounts you're mixing. And I promise, promise you, you will love what you get. I've fallen back in love with L'Oreal Carbon Black stuff. Um, here's the L'Oreal Carbon Black Voluminous Mascara. It's an awesome mascara. Um, very, very black. It has a, just a regular bristle brush. It doesn't clump on me. Um, I'm wearing it today. With and then also have the Carbon Black Linear Intense Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner. Both of these things are under $8. It is a felt tip. It gives, um, you can make it Obviously, I would never wear anything that fat, but you can make it just by bending it, um, make it very thin to as thick as you want. It lasts all day. It does not get flaky, which I have had problems with that in the past um, with different eyeliners. It can create a great cat eye. Um, I have it on just kind of thicker today, and I love it. I wish, I know it's called carbon black, but I wish they had this in a brown color. Maybe they do. If you know that, please let me know. Lastly, um, Walmart brushes. Now, there are some blushes at Walmart that are like, and eh, you can tell they're cheap, but these that look like this, I think they're called like the HD brushes. This is actually the powder brush I used um, for that blush. These are so, so soft. Um, I like to use that for bronzer all over my face or my blush. They also have a kit that has three um, double-ended brushes i think around 10 bucks these things are great the first brush they have um the double ended um this is like a powder side that is like the perfect um 
size to do under uh, powder over concealer. And then they also have just a regular um, flat shader side to use for eyeshadow. Second size has a fluffy blending brush. Um, it's very, it's pretty large, so it wouldn't give you like a concise crease or anything like that, but it'd be great to just blend everything out. And then it has a great pencil tip. Um, it's what I use to do under my lash line today. And then last, um, this, I use this every single day now with the Milani or just whatever, or with whatever brow stuff I do. It is a double-ended brow um, tool, and it has a regular spoolie for the brows, and then a great angled brush head uh, that I use. That's what I apply this, but it could also be used for gel liner or any kind of powder um, to make eyeliner, but these things are often, these are just products that I have gotten recently or I kind of rediscovered that I absolutely loved and I wanted to share them with you. I would love to know what products have been your favorite. If you want to leave me a comment below or if you even have a video on your favorites, please share the link. I would absolutely love that and I hope you'll have a great day. Bye.